August, the Austin City Council approved using a federal grant to run the so-called Fusion Center, which will allow 10 local law enforcement agencies to share crime information. And despite loud protests from civil liberties groups about privacy concerns, the center is moving forward. Shannon Wolfson is live tonight with new developments in this. Shannon. Yeah, that center would be headquartered here at the Department of Public Safety campus on North Lamar. But at issue right now is that privacy policy in the works for the center. Opponents say the policy needs further review and is being rushed through the Public Safety Commission by some members of that commission. Now, we want you to watch what happened tonight right after the commission approved the, the privacy policy to be sent to the city council. Now, critics of the Fusion Center named the Austin Regional Intelligence Center are concerned that the sharing of information by law enforcement could lead to personal profiling and unwarranted surveillance. But law enforcement agencies in Travis, Hayes, and Williamson counties say the goal of the center is to fight organized crime and to track crime trends. They announced that when the center is up and running, they will invite the public to monitor the center's activity. What we're proposing is, is that we actually have a privacy policy advisory committee consisting of activist groups and stakeholders that have input that we report to, as well as the Public Safety Commission. I would really, really like to see exactly what the private policy says and what it is before they ever move through to, the fusion, to make the Fusion Center. Now, there have been many delays for this center. What we do know is that the Austin City Council will take up the privacy policy issue at their meeting on May the 27th, and APD believes this center will be up and running by the end of the summer. We're live in North Austin tonight. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News.